Hey my friends, Chelsea with you today. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome to today's video blog. In this video, I want you to go over one of my most favorite spiritual teaching, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success, the book by Deepak Chopra that I read many, many years ago. And I personally applied these principles in my life and they changed many, many things in my own life. And I wanted to go over them because they're timeless, whether you like Deepak Chopra or not. There's so much wisdom that came with these spiritual laws of success. So the first spiritual law is the law of pure potentiality. You come from the place of pure potentiality. And when you break through the limitations of your own thinking, of your own mind, you tap into infinite possibilities. So when you begin to see it that way, when you begin to live your life with non-judgment, the creative energy works through non-judgment. When you practice meditation, when you practice silence, you're tapping into this pool of all possibilities, the place where you came from. So the second spiritual law of success is the law of giving. And it doesn't have to be all about money, how much money you give to charities. Sometimes the most meaningful thing you can give is a smile. So when you adapt this mindset of a giver, you can share something right now with another human being, your kindness, your compassion, and maybe a gift when you make something special. Your presence is a gift these days, even being present with somebody is a big deal. So when you live in this mindset of a giver, you're invoking this powerful spiritual law of success, the law of giving. So the third spiritual law of success is the law of cause and effect, the law of karma, whether you like it or not, your actions today are actually creating your future results. You could be the best person in the world, you could be the most loving, the most generous, the most compassionate person, but if you drink poison, you go to get sick or even die because the consequences of your actions will lead you to a certain result. And the same applies for gravity. If you jump over the building, it doesn't matter your intentions, whether you are a good person or you're a bad person, so the results will always be the same. So you take the responsibility for your actions. You know that your results today, whatever you're thinking, doing, whatever you're perceiving, creating your life in the future. So you live mindfully. You live with integrity. You live with intention. And listen, we don't always make the best choices. None of us are perfect. We can just improve with time. We can make better choices, more conscious choices with experience. That's what we can do as human beings. So the fourth spiritual law of success is the law of least effort. And what that really means is that you don't just relax, you send your intentions to the universe and you can take a nap because now it's all about least effort. So it's not quite about not doing. It's about, remember, 20% of your actions create 80% of your results, which means about 80% of things that you are doing are pretty much meaningless. So when you live with intention, when you focus on the 20%, when you give the 20% that actually make great results for you right now and for your future, when you live with intention, when you work on the 20%, and sometimes you need to let go of people within the 80% that distract you, that take away too much of your time and energy. So you can be present in doing things that will bring you the most result. This is the law of least effort. When you're not pushing constantly, when you're not struggling, when you have clarity, when you live on purpose, you know what you want, you know where you are, so you are collaborating with the universe. So the spiritual law of success, number five, intention and desire. Everything in the universe 
was created with intention. And the spiritual law of success implies that whatever you want, now your desire has the potential for its manifestation. So if you stay consistent, if you stay focused on your goal, it will come to life. It will come true because the spiritual law of success states that every intention has its way of realization and the universe will always support your desires, not just superficial desires today i want some coffee and then tomorrow i want some tea but your deep desires your intentions what do you want to create now so these intentions the deeper intentions invoke the powerful spiritual law of success the law of intention and desire it will manifest stay consistent stay persistent take the inspired action and it will come to life so the sixth spiritual law of success is the law of detachment. So when you detach, you leave some magic for the universe to help you, to deliver you what you want. But you don't insist, you're not obsessively insist on a particular experience or a particular person. So when you are communicating with the universe, and if you can say, if you can open up and say, this, or something better. So if you can say these words out loud and feel relaxed and feel okay, unattached to the outcome, so you are invoking this powerful spiritual law of detachment and whatever you want will come to you even faster. And finally, seven spiritual law of success is the law of Dharma. Dharma really means your higher purpose. It really means that you have a place in this world, your own special place. Now you bring something very unique into this world and that's why you're here. So when you're asking questions such as how can I serve? How can I serve with my gifts? You are invoking this powerful law of dharma because it's all about self-fulfillment it's about feeling fulfilled that's what you want it's what you are seeking you can have all success in the world and if you are not fulfilled this success means nothing but spiritual success the principle of dharma it's the principle of higher benefit higher good of all higher service ask yourself this question how can i serve with my gifts how can i share my gifts with others so then the spiritual law of dharma will work for you all right you guys here you go the seven spiritual laws of success by deepak chopra so powerful wisdom if you want you can find the book and read it again that's what i do every time i need some extra a boost of spiritual energy i read the book such as this one the power of now four agreements now, these are my favorites here we go thank you so much for watching i love you with my heart you well and blessed and i'll chat with you in the next video